So here is the lineup for Heat 2 around three. Tyler Wright up against Malia Manuel, who's making a, a valiant return from injury. And Coco Ho, who just looks completely revitalised in 2018 and ready to get back up to where she belongs on the, the rating. This is the first wave of Heat oh, 2. Beautiful geez. start to this ride. Malia again out <laughs> on the open face. Two committed turns. A little caught behind here, but she'll get another section down the line. Uh, for that third section. We're taking a look here, but again, look at the wedge down. It just grows in height, and it's just right on that bank. There it gets the release, compresses out of it, stays low to her board, and then hooks it one more time, which again put her a little bit behind, but there was a very committed maneuver. And just behind her, a late takeoff for Coco, almost finding cover as she dropped down to the bottom of this ride. And there's that, that mix-up, that new addition to her repertoire on show. That helped to get a round one win. Uh, this wave is going to be a short one too. So Tyler will be left out the back with priority, but Malia Manuel, those first two turns. What a superb. start. Rewarded. Coco, late drop, almost like Velzyland, kind of taking off. And there's that new turn that she had talked about. She said she ripped it off from <laughs> Stephanie Gilmore, but I think she has her own version of it. Having another look now. She takes off, not a lot of wall there, so she kicks out. Let's hear from one of the performers of the Roxy Pro so far. For Frilly, and I was really stoked. I got uh, Carissa. She's just super fun to compete against. She's so good that it just, all it'll do is better, you know, my surfing or whoever's against her. She's just incredible. But, um, yeah, so it was a really fun heat with her and Macy as well. Uh, she's been ripping, so, it's, yeah, it's all just good fun, and um, I'm really just enjoying the process. And, you know, I heard you saying in your post-seed interview that you didn't think that you got a nine in your round two heats. But, I mean, I watched it from the water. It was incredible. But now it just seems like you're building with your performances. Do you take, you know, that, that kind of scale away from the judges? And Sometimes, you, you know, you can't control because there is so many waves being ridden. But uh, there's that opportunity when you're sitting there and nothing's happening. <laughs> um, that's when you're going to hear it the best as we watch that transition there. Again, getting coming off the top, you want to just anticipate that there is going to be that kind of squareness at the bottom. The patience did pay off. She did get a few more turns in. Uh, this is a replay of wave number two of Malia. As again, having to race it from the top of the point, but look at all the speed carried into this section and hammers it. Beautiful work there from Malia. Again, using utilizing the rail and the variety. Uh, a nice size set wave here, but I mean, the women right now, have to be looking at these conditions and just cannot wait to get in the lineup. Well, the, the question's going to be, too, how far are we going to run through? But uh, as you said, it, it maybe wasn't as flowing uh, as the, the rides that we saw from Coco and Malia, so we'll wait and see where it falls into the mix from the judging panel. And she's up once again here. Out onto that open face, drawn out, cut back. Cuts that rebound short to get back out in front of this section. And swings that tail hard in the pocket. So bringing her board right around, showing great commitment to each move. And kicks out on the inside. So some solid rides in the opening stages here. We've still got 29 minutes to enjoy watching these three surfers perform. Uh, you know, I, I almost feel like it's, uh, it's a little extra, too much time maybe, because they're getting a lot of opportunity. As we watch again, Beautiful roundhouse cutback, uh, completely. And you know, when, uh, when you do those cutbacks, you, you get them to get upwards in the scores. You have to wrap that board all the way back up and, and turn the, when you rebound, you know, doing it high up the wall. And that shows that full, and doing it with one clean round arc. 6.83 on her first ride. And Malia had a 6.03, but the highest number of the heat so far came on Malia's last ride, a 7.93. One of the best styles on the championship tour, Malia. And also super Whoa. aggressive out there at the moment as Tyler chases down the lead. You know, it's, it's another interesting point is that the women are going to be able to kind of experiment with maneuvers, realizing at that point that it wasn't going to happen. But I feel like Coco's wave here is definitely going to improve her situation. She is carrying that small wave or low score of a 2.5. But I like that. Again, she's trying to showcase the variety, but also on the forehand, going that vertical approach. I like that list. Tyler out the back at the moment with priority, opting for this one. Up into that first section. 
Doesn't commit too hard to that first move. Wants to get that second turn in, but I doubt this one's going to go into a top two. Malia out the back. Using her priority. Good looking pocket here to work with. And she's been letting go of some great turns. But a quick decision to get out of there. That way fading away in deep water. Now the intensity that's going to happen on the back end of this thing as we see Tyler just repeating her waves. Actually she's just catching as many waves as she can. She's in third priority. And here we go, Tyler. A quick turn there, ducking it out of that wave. In that she's had some, some tough years and relied on her qualifying series finishes to keep her place on the championship tour, but she's been as high as fifth. Tyler right up at the moment, tucking into the barrel. Got a lot of travel time. Did, didn't find the exit, though. You've got a jersey, and, and looking at the conditions, I mean, I, I it is just begging to for... Uh, some ripping going down and uh, you know that it's almost like you need to you know sometimes you want to dial up so she's capable but can she hold a nerve if given the opportunity we're going to find out but tyler's going to get an opportunity to extend a lead over coco here getting caught behind Ooh. for a moment she's going to go down it is so we're just on a minute to go this is coco shot at it driving into the pocket a tricky section to surf this wave doesn't have much left on it. Coco doing well. Gets the finish. <laughs> but a 6.22 is the required number. Oh, man. I mean, was there enough in that one? The replay of that wave before the scores are dropped. But this heat is coming to a close. And Malia, it looks like she'll, she'll take this one out. A really solid performance. And she throws some fireworks on the end section there. Doesn't complete that, that one, the 24-year-old. Putting together some solid performances. Numbers starting to roll through now for Coco. Will Tyler Wright hang on to that second spot? It looks like she might. It's a 4.43 for Coco Ho, so not enough. Tyler hangs on to second position. She is through to the quarterfinals along with Malia. And we'll say goodbye to Coco and she'll look to rebound down at Bells Beach, showing some great form.